This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing some dip powder nails. I know it's been a while since I've done some, but of course I'm gonna be using the Kiara Sky Dip Powder Kit and they sent over some of their fall colors. So I wanna try these out. And they're deeper hues. There's some blues, well, a purplish blue, a green. I just wanna do some dip powder nails because I haven't done some in a while, so let's get to it. All right, so this is the dip powder kit. It comes with all of the essentials that you need, like the bond and the base and seal protect, all that stuff, or you could buy it separately. These are the colors that I'm excited about. We have some of their fall collection and I like all of these shades. I mean, this is perfect. <laughs> now let me open all of these up. All right, so this first color here is called Poor Decisions. <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> and it is like a deep golden color. This one here is called Wind Down. And that is gorgeous. I think I'm most excited about this color. Next we have Bottles Up. That one is gorgeous as well. I'm loving the deep hues. We see a lot of like the lighter colors, pinks and light pinks and glitter. I mean, they got some glitter in here as well. This is one of them. And this one is called Chardonnay. <laughs> Whoever comes up with these names, they I hope they're getting paid what they're worth. And that is what that looks like. It looks like a, kind of like a mauve and a gold mixture, really cute. And then we have Marilyn Merlot. And finally, we have Sip Happens. So we have a full house today. All the kids are up and if you can't barely hear it, my daughter is playing her violin. She's practicing, so we're just gonna have to work through it. So I'll be using the step one, step two, and step three from the Dip French kit and also the natural powder. I'm gonna be doing some prep, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. All right, so first I'm just gonna use my nail clipper and clip down my nails. And then I'm taking my cuticle pusher and pushing back my cuticles. And then taking the opposite end of the cuticle pusher and just getting up all of that dead skin. All right, so next I'm gonna take my e-file and just kind of, oh, we're not gonna put it that high. <laughs> I'll probably leave it about a, about a six. And this is a fine sanding bit. I have a little bit of acrylic left over from my anacrylic set, so I'm just gonna really kinda get that off and just take the shine away from my nails. And I'm not sure if you guys follow Kiara Sky on Instagram, but they announced that they sold out of the unicorn nail lamp and drill. So those who wanted it, I hope you got it. <laughs> um, but they did say that they were coming out with um, more colors. So I'm excited to see what other colors they come out with. I didn't feel like soaking off my last set, so I just filed it down. I didn't do it all the way. So it was kind of just a quick takeoff. Next, I'm just gonna put on my nail tips. I'm just gonna pick through these to see which one is my size. And after getting all the sizes picked out, I'm gonna use my favorite nail glue at the moment, which is the Young Nails Brush On Nail Glue. And I just put a little bit on the edge there. Hold my pinky out straight so I know that the tip is gonna go on even. And just hold that in place for about five seconds or so. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna put those on all of my nails. So after getting all of the nails on, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down, even though I'm loving the length, but <laughs> I can't wear my nails this long, not right now anyway, because we all know what happened to my thumb. And if you don't know, I will link the video down below, but she hurt right now. She not doing too good, so <laughs> we have to keep these nails short. Well, not, you know, Evie short. So we gonna probably take it to right there. They may look a little longer, but I just do that to give me some room for error. <laughs> 
and then I'll even everything out with my hand file. So taking my nail file on the 100 grit side, I'm just gonna go ahead and crisping up the shape. All right, I think I can work with this length without hurting myself. <laughs> All right, so next I'm just gonna take the 100 grit side of the file and just take the shine away from the nail tip. We wanna make sure that the dip powder glue is going to stay, um, you know, it's not gonna peel away from the nail tip. So we gotta make sure we take away that shine and kinda blend in the tip as well. All right, so it's been a while since I've done some dip powder, so I needed to like <laughs> go back to one of my videos and do a refresher. I thought I was gonna need the natural powder, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. I'm just gonna go right in with the colors. I should be all right. So the first color I am going to use is this beautiful, uh, it's like a blue, purplish, I don't know, but it's wine down. But first I'm gonna take the Bond and this is step one. This is like the dehydrator. It gets rid of all the oils off your nails, you know, all that. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that Bond and I'm just gonna put that on my natural nail. It's okay if some gets on the tip, it doesn't really matter as long as your natural nail has the bond on it. And then I'm gonna go in with the base and this is the actual glue, <laughs> the glue that's gonna hold it all together. And you use your teeth to open it up if you can't get it. <laughs> no, don't, don't do that. <laughs> all right, so what I like to do is put a strip down the center first and I built my nails up um, because I do wear my dip nails a little longer. Well, I wear all my nails longer, but you wanna make sure that it's not like flat. And so if you kinda just start from the cuticle and just constantly putting the powder, you're gonna have a dip like in the center of the nail. So I like to start off just with a little strip down the center. I dip my nail into 45 degrees, you know, just at an angle and then pull it out, and then I just tap the excess off. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty already. <laughs> All right, so then I just kind of wait. I don't really have a timer. I kind of, I don't know, kind of just let it hang out, maybe 10, 15 seconds. Uh, because if you brush it off too early, then you're gonna smear the glue. It doesn't have time to dry, so it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be smeary and you're gonna have dips in your nail. <laughs> and we're dipping nails, but we don't want dips in our nail. Taking this cute little Kiara Sky brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just brush off the excess. And that is what it looks like. I'm just gonna continue going back and back towards the cuticle area until we have, well this time I'm gonna go to the sides. And dip. And tap. Ah, see, I got I got a little smeary right there. Oh no. Like if it does that, that means that I kind of went too far. I went too forcefully into the dip powder. So you gotta kind of be mindful of that. Once it sits on there for about 15 seconds, then I just go ahead and brush off the excess. Yeah. I don't know how I did that, but we want to be careful not to do that. So yeah, I have a little, a little imperfection right there, but it should be all right. As I build up the nail, it should cover it a little bit. <laughs> and once I get to falling and shaping, you know, hopefully you shouldn't even see that. All right, so I'm just gonna continue working my way back. And when I say back, I mean, you know, back to the cuticle area. And I'm gonna turn my hand to the side, but as you can see, it's starting to form well. It's not flat. And as I go back, you know, it's gonna have that, that nice structure. You know, if I were to just go in with the dip powder, it'll just build up this same shape and have this dip right here. <laughs> and we don't want that. Let me brush that. This color is pretty. Like this is really, really pretty. I've been kind of in the mood for a deeper, deeper tones for now. <laughs> I 
I'm not gonna say I don't like pink because I love pink. And what I like about the Kiara Sky dip system, especially the base, is that it has a gel-like consistency. You know, it doesn't flood the cuticle area. So where I put it is where it stays. And that is important. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my final coat around the cuticle area and I'm gonna hold my breath. <laughs> Not really, but you just wanna make sure you get close without touching because wherever this base is, is where the powder is gonna stick. So you got to be careful. I also like that it gives you time to apply it, to apply the base without it drying super quick. That's another thing that I always have a problem with, with other stuff. So I know Kiara Sky can be a little pricey sometimes, especially compared to like the cheap stuff from Amazon, but you know, you get what you pay for. Ooh, look at that cuticle. Oh, I love a nice tight cuticle. All right, so I'm just gonna move on to the next nail and I'm gonna use this color. I forgot what this was called. This one is a Chardonnay. A. <laughs> So I do find that this glitter powder is a lighter than the blue purple color here. Yeah, like this powder, this color was heavier. So when I would put my finger in, it feels like it was like too much weight and that's probably why I kept getting all of these kind of wrinkles and stuff. So if you're doing long nails, I guess with the highly pigmented heavy powder, you may wanna just sprinkle it on or probably dip it backwards. I don't know. I don't really think it's gonna be a big deal once I get done, but that's just something to keep in mind. Oh, that is so gorgeous. OMG. All right, moving on. First, going in with the bond. Now, if I wasn't filming, I would just put the bond on all the nails, but because I am filming, it takes longer and I have more possibilities of bumping a nail. And what the bond does is get all the oils and stuff off your nails. So you don't want to touch it after you put this on. So that's why I'm doing it one by one like that. But as you can see, this is pretty repetitive, but it's easy. And when you're done, you really can't tell that it's dip powder versus acrylic application. Like this looks really good. And for me, I'm loving that I don't have to deal with any monomer cause woo child, <laughs> I'm not used to monomer yet. Like that stuff smells so, so strong. So this base here is it's the glue, <laughs> so it does smell like nail glue, but it's not nearly as strong as monomer. You see the concentration face? <laughs> All right, I don't think that's too bad. I may be able to get that. Let me see if I can get that. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. You don't want it to get too close. And let me try to get this. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's already glued down. It's okay, it's okay. We can get that with our e-file. Sometimes your brush kind of gets a little rainbow effect from all the colored powders. So just kind of twirl it on some paper towel to try to get some of that out. Cause we don't want to transfer the colors, especially if you're working with a lighter color. I mean, that's, that's a little better, <laughs> but these are some deep, pigmented color. So you may just have to grab a few of these. So since I've been doing dip nails, I kind of know how long I can go to dip into the jar. You really don't want to go longer than this. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to fit inside the jar, but you can always sprinkle it on. It gives pretty much the same result. Did y'all see that? <laughs> that stuff dries it up like. See, I barely 
have enough room for my thumb. I think I'm gonna go in just with one more coat because I want the cuticle area to be just a little bit thicker, but I always fix everything with shaping and filing. So I go a little heavy handed on the application. <laughs> and the reason why I like to do just a little bit thicker around the cuticle area is because when I get to shaping and filing, if it's not enough powder and product around there, then I can file it off. That sucks. <laughs> so I kind of just want to have enough on there to where I can shape and file without any issues. And we have a visitor. He's my baby. <laughs> ah, look on my hair. Say hi. You got, no, you got to look at this camera right here. Look, look, look. There we go. Say hey. So y'all ain't seen me since I was a baby baby. No, you're not, you're not gonna give, you're not gonna give, okay, okay, that's a way. Say hi, no. Okay, you gotta get out of here, it's hazardous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is after everything is, I would say laid, but everything is dipped. <laughs> and oh my, these colors. These colors are really pretty. So the final step is to go in with the Seal Protect and that is step three. And what this does is it's like an activator for the glue to make sure that it fully hardens and we won't have any gummy nails. So you want to be very generous, like lather this on. Make sure it's everywhere really really saturate the nail because we want this to go through all of those layers and harden the glue so after applying the activator you want to make sure to wait about two or three minutes just to give it time to you know soak into all the layers so i'll wait all right so now that i've given this time to harden i'm just gonna do my filing and shaping with my hand file because it is dip powder, it doesn't really take that much to file it, so don't go overboard. All right, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And yes, I am loving these colors. Okay, so with dip powder nails, after you file and shape and buff your nails, you wanna go back in with the seal protect. And this is optional. Well, it's not optional. The instructions say to do it. I typically don't do it, but <laughs> but after you file shape and buff, you wanna go back in with the seal protect just in case you file down to a layer that may not have gotten seal protect or the activator in it. The nails feel pretty hard to me, so I didn't come across any weak spots or anything like that, but you're still supposed to go over it. I'm not gonna lie though, I typically forget to do this step. <laughs> <laughs> I never have a problem with Kiara Sky dip powders as far as like running into gummy areas or anything like that when I'm filing. It does what it says it's gonna do. Go ahead and let that sit for a couple minutes and then you can move on to your design. So at this point, you can go in with the top, which is the step four. It's basically kind of like the base, you know, it seals in the dip powder. I typically don't like to use this and it's nothing wrong with this. It's just that I prefer gel polish because it's just super, super shiny. So I prefer my gel top coat to this. So. I won't be using step four, but there's nothing wrong with it. You can use it if you want to. All right, so for these nails, I'm just gonna add just a little taint of bling. So I'm gonna use the gold because I think that goes really, really well with these colors. Of course, to adhere my crystals, I'm using the Poochie's Nails Bling Gel and Top Coat. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with that bling gel mainly just focusing that where I'm putting the crystal, so around the cuticle area. And kind of just smooth it out and then go over that with the top coat. While all of that is still wet, just go in with the crystals. And I go ahead and cure that. This glitter one is so pretty. 
Yes. And then I'm gonna do my final care and the nail lamp for 60 seconds. And I'm gonna go in with step five, which is the nourish oil. And I'm gonna put this around my cuticles. And here is the finished look. These nails are just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, they turned out so, so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this dip powder nail tutorial. As always, everything that I use will be in the info box down below. Thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you in the next one. Peace. This is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show, yeah.